Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this is a Q&A. Finally got to you guys' questions. Uh, I'm going to be reading them today, answering them, and just right off the bat, hope you guys like the uh, the Q&A and the face cam with it. Um, if you like these types of videos, be sure to let me know in the comments because uh, I might consider doing these more often. I do them like once a month as of right now, but I could do them like once a week even, uh, you know, when I have time if you guys like these types of videos. So be sure to let me know in the comments below and uh, I'll check those out for sure. Um, before I get into the questions, I do want to say a lot's gone down with this update. We have new attack strategies probably going to become popular. Uh, people want to know how to use the new defense. The um, I can't think of it off the top of my head that the bomb tower, yeah, the bomb tower is what it's called, where the skeleton throws the bombs off. Um, so I'm going to have new base building content, new attack strategies. Going to be covering that all on the channel. I already got into the skeleton spell a little bit in the last mini tip yesterday. Um, so check that out if you haven't already. But today I'm answering your guys' questions. Kind of try to do this all in one take. I know a lot of YouTubers like to, uh, um, to like do a bunch of clips spliced together, but I don't think that's quite as as real and as cool to do. So I'm just gonna try to do it all in one take, um, and we'll see how that goes. But yeah, let's get to you guys' questions. Have quite a few, and I have this kind of new mic. I'm not sure why I'm, this one isn't what I'm using. The one right here. This new mic. It's like the size of my hand, pretty much. If I hold it up right next to it. Um, just kind of hangs down from the ceiling. A uh, really cool mic, so uh, it might sound a little different. Uh, not sure if it does or not, but anyway, uh, let's get into the questions. I hope you can't hear the clicking too much in the background. Um, just going through these on my computer. Um, so first Q&A comes from Hi Bob. Uh, Q&A, can I be the last question? Uh, no. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Um, we have Zubin Goho Q and A. Don't you think Pekka's should get a buff in speed instead of the the two damage from Tesla's? Uh, tell me your opinion, and that kind of goes hand in hand with the next one. Also talking about Pekka's, uh, we have Christopher Chang. Do you think Pekka's not taking times two damage from Tesla's or being the preferred target of Tesla's as well as level six wizards at Town Hall nine will open the door for Go Wipe as a three star strategy um, at any Town Hall, but especially Town Hall nine? And yeah, I think Town Hall nine. Uh, is the main one we need to talk about because Town Hall 8 um, is pretty much already kind of the balance is gone. Town Hall 10, I don't think we'll see any go wipes for three stars. Just the damage, the DPS is too high at Town Hall 10. Same for Town Hall 11, obviously. So Town Hall 9, um, are those new P.E.K.K.A.s going to uh, affect the game too negatively? Are they going to bring back go wipe? What What's the deal with the P.E.K.K.A.s is basically what I'm getting from this. And Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of it. I think at, at Town Hall 9, P.E.K.K.A.s were underused. They were probably worthy of being used more than they were. Um, P.E.K.K.A.s, Valks, and like Bowlers with a Queen Walk and a bunch of Rages, that's been a, a good strategy I've seen work a lot. Now that the P.E.K.K.A.s don't take times to damage from those Teslas, I think that it can be used even more. Now, Hogs are also powerful. I think I might even talk about that later in the video if I have a question on it. can't remember. But um, the point is, P.E.K.K.A.s are probably going to be even more powerful now. As far as Go Wipe coming back, because I don't have a huge problem with P.E.K.K.A.s becoming popular if they're used in a three-star strategy that uses a Queen Walk and you know a P.E.K.K.A. Walk and very uh, strategic deployment along with like Valks or Bowlers or something. But uh, the main issue is if Go Wipe comes back where it's just kind of a spam attack, it uh, doesn't take a whole lot of skill. And I don't, I think we'll see. I haven't seen people use the level 6 wizard at Town Hall 9. It's just too early to be honest. People don't have it yet. Uh, I think we might see it, especially for people who have Town Hall 8 level defenses. But honestly, I don't think it's going to be as, as popular as it used to be just because... Um, Hogs are going to be powerful. Uh, back back when Pekka was the, or when Go Wipe rather was the, the the thing people used. It was first of all it was a two star strategy. It didn't work for three stars much of the time. Did occasionally, but not that much. And the the, the other options were hard. It was hard to do a a good town hall nine attack. There was a you know a, a, it was much more defense uh, oriented than it is nowadays. So I don't think we're going to see Go Wipe come back too much. We might see it just occasionally, but. The answer, I guess, short is no. I'm not a huge fan of the P.E.K.K.A. change, but um, it might open some stuff up at Town Hall 10. Who knows? Maybe bring a P.E.K.K.A. with your with your kill squad or something. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. But uh, overall, probably not the best change, to be honest. Let's move on to the next question, though. Um, this one comes from... 
uh, X Fighter. Q and A. What's your opinion of engineered bases? Do you think they are a wanted uh, part of the game, or do you think they are a problem Supercell has to take care of? Well, they're definitely a part of the game. Wanted. It depends who you ask. And uh, do I personally think they're a problem? Kind of. Yeah, I think that we it, they're not a good thing to have in the game. And I think Supercell should take care of it. Now, no matter what I say, there's always going to be people that are like, you can't tell me how to play the game. It's just a game. You know, people do whatever they can to get the advantage and win. That's part of the game. Stop complaining about it. And, you know, I, I kind of understand what they're saying to a certain extent. But um, I, I think that, and, and this is just my opinion, but based on what I've seen, Supercell didn't intend for war to be... Uh, a competition of who's able to have the most lopsided base, I guess, to put it bluntly, um, because that's basically what engineered bases are. They're having the greatest difference between your offense and your defense uh, in order to get the advantage uh, by terms of matching with opponents who have uh, worse defense level or equal to defense level, because that's kind of what it's based on, but you have much more powerful attack uh, capabilities. So, I don't think that's what the direction Supercell wanted War to go. Now, I'm not a huge fan of doing a whole lot of regulations to keep, uh, you know, all the bases. You have to upgrade your defenses before you go on to the next town hall level. That gets a little bit kind of encroaching on the player's freedom to be able to, uh, to to do what they want with their base. But I think that it it is something Supercell should take care of. I think there should be some kind of way to to safeguard this from happening. And I don't want to. That's just, you know, kind of my opinion. I don't think it's a huge issue, though. I haven't seen a whole lot of engineered bases. We do see them occasionally, but arranged wars, you know, if you have an engineered base, you're not going to get in an arranged war in most clans, unless you're going against a clan that also has an engineered bases. That'd be kind of weird, I guess, but we're not going to see that um, much for clans like Genesis who do arranged wars. Um, we're just going to get fair matchups when we do an arranged war, and now we have the clan challenge that just allows us to... Uh, just kind of sidestep the entire regular search process and just do a direct uh, war with our with the clan we want to do it with. So I think that engineered bases are probably the biggest problem for clans that aren't doing clan challenges. They don't have the connections. They don't. They're not clan isn't out there enough. Uh, they have trouble setting that up. Maybe so they're doing mostly random searches. They want to get that loot as well as well as the XP and the uh, all the all the stuff that you can't get from a clan challenge and they keep getting mashed up with clans that have uh, some engineered bases. So I think Supercell should do something about it. I think that even though people do use it, I think that most people would agree it's not the best thing to have. And uh, just my opinion, I mean, people are free to do it if it's fair play as it is right now. Nothing, nothing against it in the rules, but I would like to see a change for sure. Um, if Supercell can. Not the biggest priority for me, but for other people, I know they have stronger feelings about it. Uh, I'm not I'm not, I'm not too uh, involved in that issue, I guess. But let's move on to the next question, which comes from uh, Rainier Vanderwalt. Q&A, what do you use to record? I want to record some Six Star Wars. Uh, please help. Uh, okay, so just really quick, just for the record, because people always ask this, I use QuickTime Player on my Mac, which is right here. This is the Mac face cam, by the way, which is pretty cool. The lighting sucks, but uh, it actually has pretty high resolution uh, for the face cam. Yeah, I use uh, QuickTime Player, so uh, you need a iPhone, a lightning cable, and a Mac that has relatively uh, recent software. So you gotta have an iPhone five or uh, iPhone five or later, I think, because you need the lightning cable. Otherwise, you can't use your iPhone four cable that has like the wider um, the wider part that plugs into your phone. You need the lightning cable, which has the skinny um, recharger for your phone. And that's how I record. So if you have, you know, uh, Android or a PC computer or something, uh, check out X Mirage. Uh, I think also, um, what is it? Air Server, I think. There's other ways to do it, but th this is free, just QuickTime Player. It comes with the Mac and it's really easy to connect. So if you're lucky enough to have a Mac and an iPhone that's relatively recent, you can use QuickTime Player. And if not, uh, good luck. Th but there's other stuff you can pay like 12 bucks for and be able to record your, your attacks. 
so yeah, let's keep going. Um, this next question from Cherry. Q&A, uh, like the attack meta series, will you do a similar series for defense and tell why it is so? Like the current meta is super exposed aid, uh, air defenses and why that is, thanks. I'm thinking about it. I think that might be a cool series. Um, I definitely try to inject you know, the new types of bases into my videos, whether it's in a live base build or just taking a look at certain aspects of defending or even in some of the base destruction videos, you can see the bases that did well, uh, why they did well. Um, as far as specifically about the exposed air defenses, that's kind of to keep the hounds out of the base so they don't tank. Uh, essentially, you're trying to kill the balloons, not, not the hounds. So you keep your air defenses on the outside of your base so when the balloons enter, they're not being tanked for. And if you're lucky, if it's, the base is set up okay, uh, they'll go down. I'm not a huge fan of doing that, but some people do uh, choose to use the air defenses, mainly at Town Hall 10, or actually Town Hall 9 a little bit. Um, we see that that being used. So I'll think about doing that series. You know, it's something that I guess would be cool, but it's not the easiest to compile um, an attack or a defensive meta. But yeah, I, I definitely appreciate it. And uh, once I can probably consider doing that once all the craziness from the update washes away. But right now, my main focus is just getting the update content out, which a lot of that is going to be talking about the new base meta. So we'll see. Um, Q and A: How much time do you spend on Clash of Clans per day? Uh, right now, I can do a few attacks just between different stuff. Just get on, do an attack, uh, then get off really quick. So I can do a, like you know maybe three or four attacks a day. Um, for war, I'm not doing wars besides the weekends mainly. So on the weekends, I might spend, depending on the war, if it's an arranged war, I'll spend some more time. But if it's a regular matchup, uh, like it was last weekend, sort of, I'll spend, you know, 20 minutes, maybe less, planning an attack and do the attack. So really not a whole lot of time. I do spend time on YouTube, making the videos pretty much every day. It doesn't take that long. Uh, this Q&A will, though, because it has a lot of editing in it. Other videos aren't that uh, time consuming. So really, I don't spend that much time, I guess. And I know people often think the YouTubers spend a lot of time, which is true for some people, but I just never really got that consumed with it. Don't have an intro. Uh, you guys were sure to make sure I didn't uh, after I tried using that cheap one. Uh, so not a whole lot of editing, but it's kind of cool that I can still make videos that people enjoy without having to spend too much time on it. And I can still play Clash of Clans without having to spend too much time maintaining my account either. All right, last question. This one is... Um, Kama camo foul something. Uh, okay, uh, how do you think base building will change with the new hogs in Bomb Tower? So with the new hogs, I assume you're talking mainly about Town Hall Nine because that's where we're gonna see the new hogs really uh, come into play. I think that, and I'm gonna make a lot of videos on this, so I want to keep this answer short. Basically, I think that we're gonna see uh, hogs be used more. I I said you know. When the update first, the sneak peek came out about the hogs not being uh, damaged 1.5 times more by the giant bombs, I said it's not going to be that big of a deal. We'll see. I still, it's hard to tell one way or another right now because it's so early on. But I think we're going to see the bomb tower be probably a little better than the, than the wizard tower. You'll keep it on the opposite side of your queen at Town Hall 9. Uh, you'll try to make it so that the hogs or maybe at Town Hall 10 when you have two of them where the miners are going to go. You're going to try to keep that um, for the back end stuff, I guess is what I'm saying, not for the kill squad uh, because the kill squad can take it out really easily. It's like having a mortar attacking your queen. It just doesn't do enough damage to one individual unit. You need that splash damage on the miners or the hogs. So we'll see it put on the opposite side of the base. I'm, it doesn't look that strong. I think it might need a buff, but once again, we'll have to wait and see. It's not been upgraded yet. People are still using the level one and level two bomb towers. So once it gets maxed out, we be, when we're able to see it, uh, we'll see the effect it has. And uh, after it explodes, because that's one cool thing, is after it drops the bomb, it blows up. Um, that does uh, significantly more damage. Not enough to like kill a hog or anything, I think, but... That's probably close to a giant bomb. Yeah, probably close to a giant bomb. Maybe not quite as much. So that should be kind of interesting to see uh, how that feature of the bomb tower plays in. But I, I really can't talk about it too much right now. I just don't know enough about it. I'll be sure to cover that um, once 
once we have some more information. So hope you guys like this video. Once again, let me know if you did. I don't drop questions on this video. Drop those questions uh, next time I tell you guys I'm going to do a QA, and a which could be soon, I guess, in a week or so, depending on how you like these types of videos. So be sure to let me know. Uh, one last thing, I uh, hope you guys like the new microphone, which I was kidding about. Um, this might blow your mind right here. Check it out. Yeah, it's, it's all the way back here. It's just a duct tape thing on my wall. I still use this microphone. Uh, let me know if I fooled you in the comments. Just cut some kind of cool Easter egg I threw into this video. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, hope you like the attacks in the background. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bisectatron out.